Hey guys, what is up? Sorty Sarah here with another Maple Story R Evolution video. So today's video, we actually want to, I actually want to come and discuss about pets. That's right. So today is going to be kind of a pet guide. We're going to take a look at the pets. We're going to take a look at what skills they have, what pets are available, what types of pets there are. So let's hop right in. So over in the pet window, there's some pets, of course, I don't have, right? So let's just take a look at the ones I don't have first. Uh, for pets, there's a few different ranks, right? So there's ultra rare, there's SSRs, and then there's SRs. So SRs don't have skills. That's one thing to take note of. Look at this bubbling, plus two, it doesn't have a skill, right? It says only SSR and above pets have skills. So let's just take a look at the ultra rare pets, the ones that I don't have first. So taking a look at the flying fish slime. So this guy has a skill called Raging Seas which when using auto skill 1 has a 41% chance at max level bear in mind this is max level, level 14 uh, to summon a sea tide dealing 160% of its attack damage and adds a knock up effect right? there's a cooldown of 6 seconds this last line I'm not sure if it's bad translation but it says also reducing the duration of 75% hex so it could be curses, I'm not entirely sure what this means but this guy basically has a knock up does damage and a chance to proc on when you're using auto skill 1. Okay, next, head over to the Skull Monster, Death Penalty, auto skill 2 has a 41% chance to deal high true damage, 860%, and minus max level on character defense. So it seems like it's either based on defense uh, or it's like supposed to penetrate defense because it says high true damage, right? And it deals 50% damage on current HP of those minion. I'm still be confusing on the translation here, but it seems to be a minion damage kind of true damage. Just like overall a lot, a lot of damage, right? As you can see the icon is like some kind of hand through a shield. So it probably means some kind of true damage thing so that it negates uh, defenses. Right? Next one is actually the junior Neki, right? Using auto skill 3 has a 100% chance to attach a defense increase to surrounding friends. So it's a white buff. Uses defense, 15% of character's defense for 6 seconds and a cooldown in 6 seconds. So there's like a 100% uptime, right? Okay, and it increases the stun, freeze, and petrify resistances by 65.5%. Stun, freeze, petrify could be uh, ailments that's provided by the bosses. Some bosses do stun, some bosses do petrify like the Crimson Barog. And freeze, I'm not too sure what bosses freeze, but there may be some bosses that freeze, and this helps you, you know, dish out more consistent damage. And maybe in PvP, I'm not sure what classes have stuns. I don't know as of yet any class that has any ailments. But that's what you can see from Junior Neki here. 100% chance for a 15% full uptime defense buff. So that's why I got to bear in mind. It's actually quite good. Right? So... Next is the newly released Celion Ultra Rare Pet. Using auto skill 4 has a 41% chance to trigger Rage Trample, which deals 420% attack damage, cooldown of 6 seconds, and Rage Reduction effect reduces by 3 points. Not sure about what this means exactly, but I'm thinking that it could be something for PvP, so that it reduces the Rage points of your enemy, or it reduces the amount of reduction you take, from some bosses, because some bosses do reduce your uh, rage, actually, it reduces your rage, right? So, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards PvP, right? All this, you kind of need to test out to make sure what they actually do, right? And finally, the last ultra rare that I don't have is uh, Bonefish. So, using any rage skill for 100% chance to perform a dense water bomb launch that stuns enemies for 4.6 seconds and deals... 100%, 34% damage, cooldown of 10 seconds. So you see, any rage skill is in red, which means that's the change, if I'm not wrong. That's how it works. 100% is not in red, means 100% chance even at level 1. Right, it's cooldown of 10 seconds, so it's kind of like a CC pad. Um, stuns enemies, so it's it's kind of telling you that it's AoE. Right? Okay, then let's hit to the only ultra rare pet that I actually possess, which is the bubble fish. There's Tidal Blessing. Initial rage increased by 1 when initial 
entering battle area and every 12 seconds increases self 7% auto skill damage for 6 seconds. So it's telling you that you get one free rage when you enter the battle area and you get 7% auto skill damage every 12 seconds for 6 seconds. So it's like kind of like a constant buff but it doesn't stack from what I presume from here. Not sure what the preview is at the level 14. Preview maybe in the illustration. No, I'm not sure how to preview the, the max skill. But yeah, so Bubblefish seems to give you the hit start and a lot of damage. So it seems like the strongest ultra rare pet uh, besides the skull monster, it's called. Yeah, in terms of damage. So moving on to the SSRs. Yeah, it's more to Seekle. So Seekle has a skill called Healing Inhibition. Which reduces the healing effect. This is a situational pet. You don't want to bring him everywhere you go because not all mobs heal, right? One specific area you can bring him is the Dark Abyss. The Dark Abyss over here. Because the boss, Dark Abyss. This character doesn't have it unlocked. But if you're level 112, it's unlocked. And the Dark Abyss has a boss called Arcarium. If he summons snakes, he can get healed. So bringing a Seekle there will help you clear it faster, clear it more consistently. And that's where you can bring it. Okay, next we have Guard Robot. When using an automatic skill 1, auto skill 1, increases the self attack power 0.8% and half 25% probability based on the character's attack of 3.5% to add an attack boost to surrounding friendly units. Last for 10 seconds, cooldowns for 6 seconds. So it's a buff or it's like an AoE buff, attack buff. So you saw a defense buff, now there's AoE buffs, um, attack buffs. Right? So if you need extra damage, pop on a guard robot. Okay, next is Junior Celion. Okay, auto skill 3. Have a 10% chance to increase defense of the surrounding friends. So it's AoE defense buff, same as one of the ultra rares. But it's only a 10% chance. And it's based on the character defense and lasts 4 seconds with a cooldown of 9. Right? Then there's Junior Cactus, which does increase damage to those minions by the enemies, so I'm just thinking that it's just increased damage to minions, which are technically the mobs that are not bosses. Right? So this could be helpful for Land of Chaos, when you're trying to farm totems, trying to progress, and the minions, you need to kill them faster, you can bring Junior Cactus. Or if you're fighting a boss with minions, Junior Cactus can also help there. Right? And uh, Recaroni, this is the free pet you get. Everyone gets a Recaroni, but depends on how many pluses you have. Using auto skill 1 has a 13% chance to fire a spiderweb bullet, which immobilizes the enemy for 1 second and deals some damage, 98% to cool down 9 seconds. So this is just like a cute little uh, skill damage skill, mobilizes, kind of makes them not move for 1 second and does a bit of damage. Then next with Card Bear, when releasing any auto skill, 26% chance to refrain from being knocked back for 1 second to cool down 2 seconds. So if you find yourself getting knocked back a lot, like if you're a mage, if you're a bowmaster and getting interrupted too much, Card Bear could potentially increase the DPS you do by negating the knockback you receive. Right? And so I think there's a few SSRs that I don't have yet. Right? So the Stump, this is another situational one. It increases the resistance to poison and burning. So if you're fighting a boss, you're dying too fast, it's poisoning you, it's burning you, this is the pet you want to bring. Right? So an example is Nependef. In the chapter 15, one of the bosses, the flower, it poisons you. Then there's also a Vellum, right? An Expeditions Vellum. Vellum, he poisons you as well. A lot of people died to the poison, so bringing a stump would help if you're, if you're actually dying, right? These are defensive situational pets. You bring them if you're dying to a certain ailment, right? Next is Bellamoa. Yeah, so it uses auto skill three, uh, auto skill two has a twenty three percent chance to summon fire from the sky, dealing two hundred fifty eight percent attack damage. So this is just a basic, straightforward attack damage. More damage, more damage in the field if you need it. So kind of like a basic, straightforward pet. Okay, next is Kyo, which increases the resistance to speed reduction and palsy. I'm not too sure what palsy is. I'm thinking it's petrify, but I'm not entirely sure. But this is another situational resistance pet. Sometimes when you fail a mission, they will recommend for you to pick up a pet. So this will be one of the pets recommended if you're having trouble with speed reduction and all that. Right? 
And Sturge, auto -scale, using auto scale 4, do 3% chance to fire 3 ghost bullets that deal 96% attack damage. The cooldown 9 seconds. Alright, so this is another one of those skill attacks. And then Gobby. So Gobby has um, more of a damage buff kind of thing. So using any rage skill for 100% chance to increase your crit damage by 14% for 4 seconds cooldown 10 seconds. So this is very like bursty. Once you use the rage skill, you're going to get an increase of damage for a while. Right, um, you see any rage skills highlighted here? If I'm not wrong, at a lower level, it has a specific rage skill you need to use. Right, and the uh, crit damage is much much lower at a lower tier. Right, so that's all for the pets that are in the game at the moment. That's all their skills. So there's a few types of pets. Okay, there's a buff, a buff type of pet, defense buff, attack buff, and then there's a Situational pets, which increase resistance to burning, re uh, petrify, movement speed reductions. And then there's an attack pet, which has a chance to proc an attack ability that does more damage overall. If you're struggling with damage, you want those. And f finally, there's like a minion pet, I guess, right? Situational damage pet, right? If there's a lot of minions, you want to have a minion pet. If you're struggling with a boss, you want to maybe cut out the minion pet for another straight up damage pet, right? Okay, so once you get pets, you actually want to upgrade them. You can upgrade them with their specific duplicates, right? So if you have a card bear, you have another card bear, you can advance it. It gets stronger, it improves the skill grade, and also gives you more bonuses, right? So what you're probably thinking, like, what do you do with SR pets, right? They don't have skills, what do you do with them? So SR pets, if you get dupes of them, you can actually upgrade them. As you see, I have blue snail plus two. And you can see it has attack 344, defense 100, HP 5881, right? Compared to maybe like a, a normal SR of nothing. 163 attack. Right? They don't need levels, but they still contribute a bonus, even if you don't pull them out. And especially for the illustration, if you level up a pet and the now, if you upgrade a pet, advance a pet, go into the illustration, it will give you power. And so then how do you feed your pets? Where do you get the feed to feed your pets? So you just take a look here. Just take a look here. You can one way I'm getting them is from the red diamond shop. You refresh. Okay, see this cake here. And there's a few ways you can obtain this. So I'll just purchase all of this. Okay. So there's a few ways you can obtain this. You can obtain this from attacking monsters, which is the dungeon here. You can see you can obtain candy, you can obtain drinks, and potentially cake. Right? And for... There's also like... I mentioned the trails, so here. You can obtain cake, you can obtain candy, depends on the reward at the starting, and all that. Finally, the last place is summoning. Of course. So if you summon something, there's a chance you actually get drinks, you get a cake. But of course, you would prefer an actual pet. But this is what you can obtain. Right? So far, there's that. And if you want to obtain duplicates of pets, you can obtain them through gathering some pieces through the various shops. Or actually, you can do the Dimension Trail. Dimension Trail actually... Um, the dimension trail here at the start and give pet fragments right so you can get pet, pet fragments from summon and there's a different there's a few different shops that sell them right uh the gameplay shop yep the adventure adventure team one sells the flying fish slime fragments although i wouldn't really recommend going to hams on ultra rare because ultra rare needs 120 fragments to be able to actually open it right in the different shops all right guys that's all i have for you today thank you for watching guys if you want to see more guides you want to see more videos about information about people story our evolution do leave a comment down below on what you want to see and if any feedback please let me know as well down below that's all for today all for today thank you for watching i'll see you when i see you guys bye bye